So while we're doing top secret, you can post up your questions and more in Discord. But uh, let's show some top secrets. So this week, um, I've got three short videos, and then we're going to do some stills. So let's take our past videos what and I like, past us show. Uh, yeah. Okay, Lady Eater, what is this? Hey, I'm testing out the ESP32 S2 Feather that I put together, and I'm doing some low power testing. So I've got my Nordic po Power Profiler Kit 2. And uh, I've got it up here on the computer. And you see, this is it connecting to Wi-Fi. And then it's sending temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure. And then it goes into a deep sleep where it uses only about 80 microamps. Um, and here it is updating on Adafruit IO. So one of the tricks I'm doing here is um, it's got this uh, BME 280 sensor, which is like really close to the ESP32. But what I do is I wake up, I don't turn on the Wi-Fi, I read the sensor data, um, and then I connect to Wi-Fi and send that cache data so I don't have to have as much heating from the ESP onto the sensor. Um, and with 80 microamps, it can last many hours between battery charges. Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I'm trying out some new chip on board epoxy coated NeoPixel strips. So these are similar to the one color COB chip on board strips that we've gotten, but they've actually got, you know, NeoPixel compatibles inside. So they've got this like bead of silicone epoxy and like 330 neopixels per meter. So extremely high density, but very smooth color. Um, you can almost not even see the difference between each color along the strip. And I'm driving it with a little cutie pie M0. Um, so far so good. I think they are gonna be a little delicate. So you just have to be careful with them. But if you want like a smooth neon look um, that is very thin and very flexible, uh, this is definitely going to do the job for you. Cool stuff. Hi, right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, everybody. I just got this ESP32 S2 Feather put together. It's got the mini module, STEM QT, and it's got a built in BME 280 humidity, temperature, and barometric pressure sensor and battery monitor. So I thought a really great demo would be to, in CircuitPython, have that sensor data sent to Adafruit IO. So I whipped up together a real quick CircuitPython code demo using all of our libraries. And there you go, I'm sending that data to Adafruit IO. You can see the temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, and battery. And if I breathe on this, you'll see the humidity pops up. So I'm sending data every five seconds, and it's working great. So next up, I'm going to try this out in Arduino to make sure it works there as well. All right, um, then here's some of the photos and more. We got the ESP32 S2 minis in. That's what we used on those feathers. Yeah, and then we were bringing up this board. This is the TFT version of the ESP32 S2 feather, so just verifying that the TFT works. Yeah, and then you can see we got a few boards here, including the Trinky. Trinky. And here's a preview of some of the art for Cyberdeck, which is our Raspberry Pi accessory. We're making these now. Yeah, pretty soon. And that is the top secrets for the week. Back in the vault. Mm, back in the vault with you. Okay, 